Way too many fakes in my face, I can see the evils Drug addictions, bad bitches, they gotta be jokes See the Pico, black slacks, it's all What's good, yo, we back, RTTV What's good, yo, we back, RTTV Na 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 me na me na ga Yeah, we back, we had like an off week last week I don't know why though We had a bye week yeah, we had a bye week. I guess the you know Attack on Titan is winning the championship. They're in first place for number one anime. That's what I heard on the streets. But if it's your first time in, definitely won't be your last. So make sure you click that subscribe button. Ahorita and mi gente, check down in the description and check out the RTTV merch right there, man. Drip out of season. And if you don't like Rob, get over it, because Rob's going to be here for a long time. Dap me up. Oh, they love you. They don't like him in my hair yeah, academia. This nigga's true. They love you in Attack on Titan. Don't bring that hate this way, man. Yeah, you already know what it is, yo. Shout out to all the, attack, the whole Attack on Titan family. We're in the scouts. We're doing this all season long. This first half is over. And I held it, so hopefully I get the outfit, man. Yep. After, the, after this episode, one more. One more, yeah. Then they go. Oh, I'm on hiatus for a little bit. Uh, so last episode we seen, we finally see Bertold and Reyna yep. and the Beast Titan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we saw so guys ass whooped, nigga Colossal Titan guys. We saw Reyna get his ass fucking torched. Yeah. It wasn't even an ass whooping, it was like, uh, listen, 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 yeah, Reyna. No, I, I didn't say Colossal, I was correct myself. Um, 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 this nigga was missing like, all was the like, his face, you know, it was like... Uh, it was like, listen, listen, I'm your father and you're my son. That was the type of whooping that he got. It was right, like, right. listen, get out of line and I'm gonna beat your ass again. Next time, I might fucking kill you. And he mentioned the fact that it's like, yo, we're gonna put the anti um, escape route thing or everything on like, a rescue, on a, mission. A rescue mission to yeah. the side. And get and, this money. And get to the checkpoint, to the coordinate. The, the, quarter, the, the, the coordinate, coordinate, which is Aaron. Uh, we know, yeah, we yeah. know it's Aaron. Small potatoes, and they out here getting to the bread. So let's get right into this episode. We're gonna like, wait two weeks for this. This shit better be lit. Attack on Titan. See Aaron? You notice how he's acting? It's ironic that his story has changed the history of a family. <laughs> Woo! I got yeah, no yeah, yeah, that's on the site! I got to kill these niggas. Niggas think it's sweet. <laughs> hey! Oh, she, she looks tight. tired. Yeah, it's fucked. She look heated, She got the galaxies in her eyes. Mm -hmm. Shit. She's jealous. <laughs> kind of shit! What are you doing chilling with her story so much? Give me that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Whoa! They got the defense on lock. These niggas is genius. <laughs> the executioner from hell. God damn. <laughs> Some real nigga. So let's make weapons and get this money. Nah, he's turning into a real, like, I'm respecting him, right? I'm doing that thing, I already better that respect for him. Ooh! Some real shit, though. Hell yeah, they're way more different, bro. They've seen a lot, man. It's not gonna be what exactly happens. <laughs> oh, that, that's oh, yeah. ill. <laughs> but you see, he's like dozing out, you feel me? Yeah. Like, wait. But like with all the shit he been through, it's like especially in that conversation with them. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that nigga. Oh shit. That was him. How? Wow, he was a commander of the scouts. The scouts. Yeah, I forgot about that. Got a whole new outfit. 
Squad Levi. Remember what he did to <laughs> Look at his eyes, nigga. <laughs> That's such a creepy ass look, yeah, yeah. Big ass baby, baby. <laughs> Damn, that boy got faith, bro. That nigga saved everybody. Yeah, that nigga's the best doctor in history. <laughs> look at this nigga, yo. He said, how could this be? Who is this man? My boy, Aaron. Maybe Aaron in the flesh. things to you know some of the like you were saying is a missing puzzle they put yeah. some of the pieces back together mm -hmm. on like how Aaron you know got his powers or whatever yeah um the night the attack happened mm -hmm. they dove into his dad's backstory yeah on how he appeared. Got, yeah how he appeared so mm -hmm. tell me your thoughts about that with that like the main thing I got on that shit is that yo I really think this dude's dad is foreign like he's it, it makes it seem he's not from that place like he like he wasn't like wherever he's from 
he got into Titan form for some reason, somehow, like as if he was trying to escape. He took a serum, turned into a Titan, and then voila, ended up outside the wall of fucking where they at right now and stuff like that. So, just think seeing that is like makes me feel like he's from a whole different place and they just entered there, but it may fit in the grand scheme of like him escaping where he was from. To, it wasn't coincidence that he ended up outside that wall, basically. And did I not call it last season reactions? Yeah. I said, yo, Eric's dad's probably a spy sign from another location. Yeah, he did. And they sent him in here to infiltrate. He gave the serum to his son. To, yo. Fucking genius. Wow. And I, yo, where, yo, where's the colossal? I want to go to their world so bad, bro. Like, their world is the shit to me right now. Like, Eren's dad's from there. Eren's dad's the latest dude from this world. Yeah. So I was like, you feel me? It's like, <laughs> what? Like, the colossal type. Yeah. Oh, what's his name? Right. Think about it, Andy's from there, she's lit. Like everyone yeah. from there is lit, nigga. Like they they're like they know what's going on, they know what's popping. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to like, yo, it's like and then his dad came, his dad learned about the Titans, then he ate that family to change the the way that they were controlling the world. So whose world's really right? Mm -hmm. Imagine if Yo, imagine if the world they come from is just like, nah, I don't know, man, because the only thing is they had Reiner and thing really shook from that. Well, whoever's from that world had them niggas shook. And the Beast Titan beat their ass, and he looks yeah. like he's from there, so. It's I'm just, I'm really confused, because, like, this this episode, right, I don't know, I had, like, a, like, shout out to Drake, I had, like, an out-of-body reaction to this shit, yo, because, like, when he, when this nigga said that, like, yo, these people live in these walls and don't think about the like the world outside these walls and stuff like that it really makes me think like it's crazy how small those wall world um those walls are compared to how big the earth is so it's like is that really humanity or is there a whole other society mad different societies out there that we don't know about shit like that go on forever bro yeah when, when, even when he was talking with the former commander of the scouts he's uh the father i'm talking about yeah he's like all right, so there's inequality when it comes to money, but in turn, inside the walls, it's peace, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So uh -huh. he found out, like, beautiful. Yeah. And then he's like, um, and then there's a, the scouts, you guys, you know, right. travel outside the walls just to kind of like, because you're curious. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. want to know, he's like, that's, he found beauty in that too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like, it almost makes you think like, all right, so where he's from, you know, oh yeah, the like, lifestyle's completely yeah, different. Yeah, lifestyle's there. different. Remember, he there was a plague that hit the the town, and he's a he remembered his his name and mm -hmm. a doctor. He was a doctor, mm -hmm. and he was able to cure a plague. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, a so, plague. Yeah, a my plague. Nigga. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, so that like from seeing I the powers that Andy got right, Colossal Titan and um and the Armor Titan, and how well they able to use their powers and how educated Aaron's dad is, it makes me feel like they're from a very developed society, but the way it's ran is like this, I don't know, cause like, that's where I'm at right now. But I, there's more to it, but I'm still like. I feel like they come from an advanced society because they could just send one person into infiltrate and they fuck everything up. <laughs> His dad came in and saved people. But maybe he was the infiltrator, like, yo, look at him high in the community, but now as a scout, maybe that's a doctor saving people. Then when he gets up, he can get close to the kings and stuff to save it. And then he can find out who's Titans, find out where they get information on how they are, how they use their Titan powers to control their society, and find out, oh, they have the ultimate, um, uh, they have the communication, the, whatever that, that did the uh, Ruff Reese family had, that he ended the dad ended up being yeah, yeah, like that. Oh, probably right. like, yo, they probably had they're probably the only ones that have that everything that's going on is it makes you think like, wow, what well, like this shit could go on forever. The show like it's only I feel like this is really just the beginning. You feel like we're scratching the surface? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah it's it's cr I'm ready for the other world though. So what's right. like what are your predictions moving forward? We're gonna go to, uh, they're gonna try to outside the walls to go to the other world. Cause they're gonna try to find and figure out where his dad really come from. Mm -hmm. And ain't it weird that, this one thing I don't, 
Like, how did they know that that was gonna occur? What? Well, like, how did they know that um, when they sent his dad, whoever sent him, that those two scouts were just gonna randomly just let him stay and not even report it? So let me ask you this question. So do you, you believe that Evan's dad, Annie, the Beast Titan, Ryan and Bertha, you think they're all on the same page? No, 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 no. they come from the same place. I mean, come, okay. same page. All right, so they come from the same place. So do you think, so you guys go back to the question you just asked right now. You don't understand when they sent Evan's dad, if you, how you know he's gonna turn out like that? No, how did they how did know they were gonna let him into the wall like that without reporting it mm. or punishing him? Or maybe they sent him like that to punish him and then niggas just didn't, fucked up and didn't ex report it. So his dad ended up still living and getting some type of, getting some of his memories back. Mm -hmm. And probably was like, yo, the, uh, where the other uh, he comes from, I feel like they wanna control Aaron's wall. But they wanna control that world and they like that system. And they sent his dad probably was sent there by act like to probably die, but I don't know, they probably let him in for some reason, whatever. And now he's building the system to, um, to he was just probably working on the system to get the ultimate power there so he could control it and let these people be free. And he gave like who's people? Aaron's like world to okay, be free. Like do it in the walls? Yeah. Okay. But then the other world found out what was something that the, what the dad did and they said the colossal titan and the little niggas out there to go fuck shit up, like you go break that wall. Or they probably found out what the dad was doing when he broke the wall and fucked it up and the dad gave the power to Aaron and then they just sent them in there just to uh, make order, like live there. That's so why they probably lived there for my long so they could make sure the system was going correctly. Mm -hmm. And scouts probably were the closest they could get to it. And then okay. they probably to get the coordinates to bring it back and then they didn't pull it up. Yeah, I agree with the, everything bes like besides the, the spy part. I don't even think that they're like, I feel like Aaron was like, Aaron's dad was trying to escape that spot. That's why- No, no, like, no I'm was, saying that. They probably sent him as a punishment to kill him because- Oh, I didn't okay. Know that I, he was okay. gonna not. Because remember they said, yo, if you outside the walls, it's just automatic punishment? Yeah. And then them two niggas just like, yo, let's let it slide. Like, both of them niggas just like, nah, we're not gonna report this. Let's let him in. Mm -hmm. Like, how did they know them two niggas was just gonna be like, yo, that's the only thing I don't get. Like, and then like what's your what's your take on the the commander that we just saw who just told you the backstory? Like how I feel about him? Yeah. Honestly it's like when like my last experience with him, like the whole situation where like Aaron and Mikasa and Armin was in front of him and they was getting ready to blast him with the cannon and shit. At that point I thought he was a bitch. And but hearing his backstory, I feel like he just turned into a bitch from all the experiences that he'd been through and stuff like that. Like there was a moment in his life where he was a very honorable person that he had set in stone that he was gonna change the world. He's a chosen one. But then I feel like once he noticed that he became a commander and he didn't make a difference, he was like, yo, fuck this boat. Like what am I really here for? Like I didn't make all these things that I thought I was gonna do differently compared to the niggas that was there before me, I didn't do shit. Yeah. Well, and it seemed just, like it seemed like to when you're looking at this story, it seemed like he was doing all of it for clout. Which essentially, if you do anything just to get attention for it, you're not gonna be good at it because you're just thinking about the you're just thinking about the rewards that it we. I don't necessarily agree like, with like, that. I mean, yeah, you know, just I because he said this, when he said you're a chosen one, that's when he was like. Yeah, nah, but I feel like I could do this. I like, like, he was like a more. I feel like it. He when, it, when the guy said he's the chosen one, and then his wife said that at the end, I feel like his role, he is the chosen one because he was the chosen one to give that message to Aaron. I yeah, feel like, yeah. and I feel like that we understand his family way more now. Like his mom never liked soldiers. That's why when he was like when he was acting up young, like remember he was like, yeah, we gotta get out the walls, we gotta beat up the Titans. His dad probably was like, yeah, he's a chosen one. Like, mm -hmm. he's like the soul. Like, he's he wants to get outside the world's the walls and stuff. He's brave. He's courageous. And his mom, remember, his mom kept getting mad. Like, yeah, no, yeah, you're not joining the scouts. Yeah, yeah like, scouts, and yeah. she never liked the scouts even from that. Like, that's why she didn't even like that nigga and go out with him. She wasn't fucking with the I scouts. She was her. Aaron's dad wasn't the scout. That's why she fucked with him. Mm -hmm. But she didn't realize he was the worst. Everybody plays their own special purpose. You know what I'm saying? And like, just like Erwin Ir played a different part. He seems like none of his people died, he said, you know what I'm saying? And then, um, 
he, uh, Dr. Jager, Aaron's dad, he saved the whole city from the plague. So yeah. he was comparing different special specials, like he's special in this way. I, yeah. I'm not like these people, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So I think that's where he had a mistake and he stepped down, but it it's smart of him and it's special of him to have stepped down and recognize that because yeah. Irwin became yeah, the man. So that was good stuff. though. He still, mm -hmm. he still picked, I feel like his special ability was finding a good leader. And yeah. he did. Yeah. You picked an amazing leader. Like. Yeah. And the fact you said that, like, yo, he was chosen because he relayed the message he was supposed to to And to picked Irwin too. Yeah, and right, even right. so, but even so, with the, even so, at first, it, it took him a while to realize that because we saw he, he um, vandalized Aaron's gear so he could fail, right? But the thing that I think what sparked his mind and made him realize, oh, nah, this kid's really special, is when Aaron stood up on it anyway, despite it being oh, a broken. a little bit, yeah. And then he yeah. tipped over. Yeah. yeah. And remember, he was like, oh, no, we checked it, yeah, yeah, gear was broken. Remember, and then he had to do it again. It's fucked up because the whole time this nigga knew, um, how you pronounce his name, Sadie's? Commander Sadie's? Yeah. It's weird that the whole time he knew that that's um, fucking Aaron's yeah, father's yeah. son right yeah. there. So it's like he wanted nah, to like, he, like, try, he tried to do it. He did it to kind of like keep him safe. You yeah, know, he did and it like, for his mother. Yeah, yeah. And his father ended up winning. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I was just like, yeah, I did it. I, I fucked it up to save you because your mother didn't want you in it. And then your father said you were um, no, 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 wait. No, he was like, like yeah, his father said he was special. That's when his dad yeah. ate him already. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, he was like, and your dad said he was special, so I fucked it up, and you still did it. So still your dad was right. <laughs> your dad was right. Nah, this, yeah. this was an amazing episode. I feel it was very powerful. It wasn't mad action, but the story was amazing. Yeah. But like being the bystander and seeing everything from like that outside perspective and shit like that, that was dope. And another thing too, like another thing that we kind of forgot to mention like the soldiers are way more gully now and they're like yo what we're playing titans now yeah i'm trying to be on the scout regiment yeah let's get this work and even so even though they're still excited they still don't realize like pretty much team levi the the top hot let's call them the top hot because they, they do the most um they don't realize they're looking at team levi and they're just like yo you guys have a whole different look on your face like what is good with y'all right and um, it's just like you saw it on their facial expressions, like yo, we've been through some shit, and like we can't really ex we can't really explain this to you, but if you really want to know, we can tell you. And then they were just like, uh, shit, sure, that's like the same like, time when they when they first first. First, first got in the scene, it was like, yo, I'm about to kill these Titans and shit. Then they start getting body left and right, nigga. It's like, nah, but the I think they all jump into it with the excitement, like, yeah, we're going to go help out and kill Titans only, until they see some shit. is that there were definitely way more people that were shook about yeah, killing Titans. Like, yeah, now, now, different. Now, now it's like, before, before there were way more people that were shook. Yeah, they bro, were what's shook. What's up, I'm talking about when they first, nigga, when they was on top of the roofs, yeah. and they was like, yo, we're about to kill Titans, it was super shit, and then three of them got body and right out of this, there. Out of the whole scout regiment, look, the difference so between so now and then up. is like the difference between now and then is that now everybody wants people want to be on the scout regiment. Well, why they want to be on the scout regiment because we humanity's taking a, a few dubs. Yeah. yeah. So you know but, uh, yeah. yeah. So last time right, before it popping, prior, prior to that niggas, niggas people did not want to be people niggas were shook had or way more shook and win. regardless of what and regardless of what yes they were excited on top of the roof but they were all shook. And they all express how shit they were prior to them going on the uh, Now it's like, now it's just like, yo, what? We're taking dubs. I'm, I'm, I'm joining the scout regiment. It's, it's good to join a bandwagon when you're winning. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so, nah, you niggas are right on that. Yeah. Good flows with you. But if this is your first time in, definitely won't be a last. So make sure you kill, murder, and smash, smash. that subscribe button. It's your boy Wells, the Anime King. Man, Attack on Titans finishing. One more episode, guys, until we take a hiatus for three months. But we still got Tokyo Ghoul coming, Seven Deadly Sins in rotation. Remember, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, you get Seven Deadly Sins reaction. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturdays, you get it for Tokyo Ghoul Re. So stay tuned. Anime Toba is on the way. Damn, we gotta wait for my hair to come back, too. Mm -hmm. Damn. Oh, Patrick on team, man. Young Thrift Doctor, aka Young AI in the flesh. Man, you already know what it is, man. Check out the RTTV merch down below. Attack on Titan will be remain as the best anime thus far. You already know what it is, man. Best storyline I've ever heard, period.
spoiler alert. Pat wasn't a point guard in high school. It's a man, it's a myth, it's oh a legend. It's <laughs> <laughs> so the squad. Make sure you follow us on every major social media platform. Man, Attack on Titan, greatest anime of all time. Facts. It's your boy Rob City. Shout out to all the scouts out there. You already know what it is. Attack on Titan. Erwin is still my favorite. Erwin definitely stepped it up, man. You gotta give him a lot of respect. I know I was coming at him before, but I'm respecting his story, and I think he is special. Everyone's special, like his mom said. It's your boy, Ross City, out to the Asian Prince of Media Kid. Sakwa said, I'm bullet. I said, Gompe. I said, Gompe. And yo, that settles it at the round table. It's a man, the myth, the legend, Wilkins underscore RT. Patrick RT. And if you rock with this video, man, make sure you check that out, that out, that out, that out right there, man. This way, Tuesday, Wednesday. What? What do they need to do, bro? They need to kill, murder, and smash that subscribe button. Yeah, yeah, yeah.